السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو سانگز آف آر سیلس پاورڈ بائی چیک میٹ کراچی وی ہیو اے ویری اسپیشل گیسٹ وتھ یو ٹوڈے بٹ بفور دیٹ وی ہیو این اناؤنسمنٹ ٹو میک وی ہیو لانچ آڈینس سپورٹ آن آر چینل سو اف اینی ون آف یو وانٹ ٹو کنٹریبیوٹ ٹو میک دا پروڈکشن ویلیو مور گڈ تو دا نمبر ول بی آن یور اسکرینز رائٹ ناؤ اینڈ اٹ دا تھاٹ دیٹ کاؤنٹس آج ہمارے گیسٹ ہیں ہی از دا کرنٹ ڈین آف کمپیوٹنگ ان فاسٹ کراچی He has been uh, the HOD of Computing Science and the Director of FAST, uh, Karachi Campus. Apart from that, he has done his Master's and PhD from US. A very experienced teacher and uh, a great computer scientist, if I might add. So, <clears throat> we were honored to have you, sir, on our show today. And if you could uh, introduce yourself a little to the audience from your own mouth, sir. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, I graduated from NAD uh, in Electrical Loop. Engineering in 1998, and uh, but uh, I have a great passion. I, I I mean I had a great passion of computer science, so I moved to computer science in uh, I mean soon after that, and I did my masters and PhD. I mean both from USA. I also worked in US uh, in the <coughs> IT industry, and then um, my passion has been academia. I wanted to. each the upcoming generation wanted to fill the gap wanted to serve the nation so i thought uh, that i should play my role so i've uh, been me teaching at fast since 2009 thank you so a uh, great approach sir and uh, my first question is that you did your masters from abroad so what is the basic difference you found between the students here and the students there i think uh, i think uh, The students over here uh, during my NED days were very uh, talented. There's no doubt about that. They were very energetic. And uh, but the but the issue I- with us with our students' body is that they are not focused. They are not very well disciplined. Uh, so, जब आप किसी चीज पे ना जो हैं वो ये focused नहीं होते, disciplined आपका सही नहीं होता, तो of course uh, जो आपकी success है उस पे effect आता है. So, if uh, my I mean This is my message to all the students. If they become focused to their studies, if they they become focused to the innovation, the role, the I mean, their learning, they can do wonders. I mean, believe me. Sure. Acha. Uh, another question I have is, uh, uh, if anyone, uh, if if any student wants to pursue academics solely, like, his uh, ideal career roadmap, what will happen? Like if anyone wants to be a developer, his career may be set. Hota hai, and most students go go towards that. But if uh, if a student wants to pursue postgraduate studies, what should be the ideal roadmap for him? Ah, uh, I postgraduate studies. Kili to ye kya hunga? If you want to 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 pursue postgraduate studies, then if you have the opportunity, uh, do it from abroad because that degree, their system is more recognizable. Okay, na. uh and then come back <laughs> serve the nation <laughs> and serve the nation so um uh yes uh there will be challenges of in doing abroad but that's i mean those challenges will make you a better person a better student and, and a more accomplished person um, but i mean definitely i mean for those who cannot go abroad for whatever reason for their like family for their affordability or whatever reason there are, are are plenty of opportunities so the the ultimate bottom line is can, can do it from a reputable university uh because that counts a lot and do it in a in a good way when you are a student uh, you are a student i mean i mean, I mean like 24/7 so <clears throat> take it like this that you should own your studies and inshallah you will be successful so you just stated that a student should go abroad to pursue his masters or postgraduate degree So, what do you think is the gap in the Pakistani uh, tech institutes that students have to go abroad? Why are we not providing the quality of education that we could do masters from our own country and serve the country that way? Well, I mean, I think you should take my suggestion in this way that there are very good universities over here as well. Um, but uh, the degree from abroad is more reputable, and that's I mean, specifically in the field of academia. so if you want to excel in the field of academia your first choice should be to seek a masters or phd from abroad uh, ultimately you have to go for phd because uh, because i mean higher education commission is uh, i mean give uh, i mean very high incentives for those who have a phd 
So, uh, and the, the, the universities cannot promote you if you don't have a PhD. So, right, so, so that's why. So, uh, sir, uh, if we uh, shift a little to uh, this, this was the academia side of the computer science field. If we shift towards the more of the development uh, side, so there is a gap between the students and the industry right now. Like when students go into the industry, we were talking to our seniors as well. So that's what they said. When we go into the industry, everything is completely different. The practicalities of the thing, the theories we were doing, they were very different as compared to the uh, current practical life that they are in. So why do you think that there's such a gap in between the, the transition that is from the university to the professional life? Yes, this is a dilemma that we have this kind of gap. And the problem is that our in industries and academia, they work in two different directions. And this, this dilemma will, this um, difference and this gap will remain uh, until and unless, I mean, both the constituencies, both the, the parts, I mean, both the contributors, they will work independently, then this gap will exist. So the the bottom line is that if they want to bridge the gap, both academia and industry have to, I mean, play their roles. They have to bridge the gap. Um, I mean, for that, industry have to approach the academia. Academia have to, uh, I mean, they have to approach um, the industry so that uh, they can do joint ventures. They can collaborate. They can, I mean, they can find out where the gap is. Right, uh, what will be the best practices you suggest for the students uh, in their undergrad studies that can help them later in the industry? Like, should they go for internships? Should they go for hands-on uh, courses that, that are available online? Yes, for undergraduate students, there are, uh, are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of things they can do in order to to excel during their studies. The first thing is that they should try to do an industry-based FIP. That's the first thing, which has an industry-based application, an industry-based prototype, mm -hmm. or even a product or a prototype which can be adopted by masses, right? So I'm talking about a comp um, I mean, mean, I mean, a product which can be used by masses. So, so that's their first, uh, I mean, approach. I mean, the second approach they can adapt is um, they should try to do some internship during and after the sixth semester. That's the best time where you are looking for an industry-based FIP. They're, even if someone is not will, willing to like pay you, you should go and work for them for like, I guess, eight weeks, 10 weeks. Try to gain some experience. This will really help you in bridging the gap. This will help you in learning the industry. I mean, standards. This will help you in getting yourself ready for your first job as well. Uh, yes. So, sir, there's a, a big question that is in the minds of most of the students who are pursuing a bachelor's in computer science. That when we can learn the things that we're learning in the university in many institutes just aapko pata hai institutes to darjanon ke hisab se bacche nikal rahe hain jinko courses aate hain kuch skills aati hain so what's the use of pursuing a bachelor's degree when you can do that thing and you can uh, professionally apply it in a job right i well i think uh, the benefit of university education will remain i don't think that uh, just seeking certificates or just learning courses from coursera will make you uh, uh, I mean, as skillful as a university graduate, I don't think so. Well, you can you can gain practical knowledge from Coursera or from some other courses or some certifications, but the mindset, the concept building, the practical approach, uh, the I mean, your attitude, I mean, your peer learning approach, I mean, learning from professors, the university environment, all the, I mean, these all factors have their own values, and you cannot deny that. So, so yes, if somebody wants a, wants a quick path, you can just go out and do some certification. But would that be enough? I mean, for your growth, I mean, for a long time, that remains, a, I mean, a question. So nice. university, uh, in a way, teaches and gives rise to the holistic development of a student, right? So with that... Uh, University में रहते हुए बहुत सारे events होते हैं students के जैसे fast में procom है dev day है तो इनमें participate करना as a student कितना helpful रहता है बहुत helpful रहता है very necessary 
I mean, the first thing is it gives you exposure. It gives you an opportunity to accept I mean, challenges. Your uh, peer learning, you can learn and gain feedback from industry. Um, you know how things work. So this is very important, definitely. Right. Sir, I don't want to say anything else. The societies in the university, they play an important role in your development. Like your soft skills, which are basically, they have to polish them. They have a major role play. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> a student, if a society is joining, but at the same time, they can't manage their studies. So, what is your recommendation for them? How do they balance that? And is it really important that if you have to compromise your studies, soft skills polish them, or then you have I would say that both are important. Your CGPA is very important. And your soft skills, your exposure, your leadership qualities are also very important. So, your soft skills, your exposure, your leadership qualities are also very important. So, I mean, just consider it that you have to learn to like balance your time and do, I mean, both of the things. Yeah, definitely very important. But, sir, an issue is that students have to Especially staying in fast, so our travel is a lot of the idea. So, if you have a check in the evening, you will be able to get a lot of your life. So, after that, your life You are a teacher as well, and then you are the dean as well. So, both sides of the roles are going to be multiple. Family is a lot of time. So, sir, how do you take out time for all of this? Mm-hmm. We as a student, we are going to be able You as a dean, you will be able to get a lot of time. It is a challenge. Uh, but I'm willing to accept this challenge because it gives it enhances my productivity. So, of course, जो students ये challenge लेते हैं कि वो studentship में जो हैं वो studies पे भी focus करें और साथ में जो है वो अपनी student societies पे भी I mean concentrate करें. So that obviously this enhances their capabilities and they will they are I mean successful. So challenge accept करने से improvement आती है. तो right. So we talked about uh, your experiences abroad. We talked about the industry and the students gap. The one thing I, li- I really like to touch upon is how do you see the current Pakistan IT industry? Current Pakistan industry has a lot of potential. That's what I've been hearing. I've been seeing. Uh, I, I met a few, I mean, Pasha representatives, I think a week ago, and they were telling me that they had this capability that they can employ. 100,000 graduates every year. This is what they have. But their dilemma is that they say that, uh, as per, I mean, Pashak, that out of the 25,000 graduates which are being produced by the universities every year, only 5,000 are employable. And the remaining 20,000 are not employable in the country. So they want, um, mean, better quality from the universities, better output from the universities. So definitely there is a, uh, a very, I mean, I mean, very high prospect of growth, uh, and for that everybody has to, I mean, play their, their role. So you just stated that only five thousand are employable. So what as per Pasha, as per Pasha, as per Pasha. <laughs> right. so, so where do you uh, believe lies the problem that the rest of the twenty thousand that you stated are not employable? So is that a students uh, lacking on the student side, or is that the management side that's lacking? I think uh, I would say that all the three students i mean universities and the industry all three have to play their role uh, the industry have to approach the remaining 20000 and see what their i mean i mean lacking is and and i mean uh, and work with the i mean i mean university and the students uh, the university have to has to adopt and see what i mean where the lacking is and where they can improve the, i mean the students has also have to i mean play their role in moving towards Improvement. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. sir. Yeah. So, in the industry, like time pehle, every computer science uh, student was going towards development. And then, in the Pakistan ki industry, mein especially, kya boom kar rahe? it is AI, is it data science? What should the students go towards and focus? Uh, especially because computer science is a very vast field in itself, and uh, it's very difficult to you know pinpoint your interest. So, what uh, Industry wide, I'm asking what's going on in the industry. I mean, based on some I mean, recent feedback from I mean, different software houses, what I've learned is that so many of the students want to work, for example, in data science. Um, okay, but the industry believes that they don't have that many opportunities in I mean, data science and they ask the students to be I mean, flexible in adopting their I mean, future path. 
So they can also, they are also encouraging to students to join software quality, testing, I mean, mobile application, I mean, web engineering. Uh, uh, so there are so many fields, other fields. So I would suggest all the students to be more flexible. Don't uh, stick to one field. If, I mean, I mean, whatever opportunities are available, try to avail them. And your path, and your path, and your career will be, inshallah, be very good, successful. Inshallah, so sir. Uh, before ending this all, uh, in this COVID pandemic, we all suffered a lot. We all went through a lot. The faculty, the students, everyone. So, and coming out from all that, now the students are coming back to the university. We are all on campus. Uh, classes really, are taking place. Yeah. So, <laughs> what message do you have to the current fastians and a co the computer science community as whole, sir? My message. To all the computer science community, is this that in the field which you are in is very, very rapidly changing. You know, I mean, it's a race against time. I mean, believe me. Um, and we, we in Pakistan, are very far behind from the the modern developed world, which has so many adaptations and usage of technology. So you have to explore ideas, you have to, to, to work very hard to learn all the new I mean, technologies, all the new fields, all the new concepts, I mean, remain aware and try to, I mean, develop something, try to produce and innovate something which can benefit the masses of this country. Uh, my special message to all the Faustians uh, is... Uh, God has given you a, you a great opportunity to excel in, in your field. Uh, not many students of this nation has this access, have this privilege to study from a very well-reputed university. Take it as a blessing of God. Try to work hard. Try to avail this opportunity. And wherever you go, wherever you live, try to give something I mean, back to this country. This country needs you a lot. Mm. We are way, I mean, we are way far behind. Right, sir. So that's a great <coughs> note to end. That's a great note to end, especially to all the students who are out Do come back to your country <laughs> because uh, this country really needs you. Just, just like sir said, we need to develop. Log bolte hain ki Pakistan mein hai na industry. Gee. Pakistan mein grow nahi kari. To jab grow karne wali bahar bhag jayenge, to kis tarah industry grow karega? Uh, I mean, um, I mean, students from fast um, should be the leaders of the IT team industry. You are our future. We are investing in you, on you. I mean, don't disappoint us. <laughs> right. We will try our best not to, sir, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. I have very high hope. Thank you. So, thank you very much, sir, for that. And uh, it, it was, was a great it session. It was a pleasure to have you, sir. And it's, uh, very informative. It was a good session for us. My pleasure. So, my, my pleasure. Inshallah, with that, with that note, we'll bring it to an end. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe for more of such content. If you think there's a guest that you want to suggest, you want to suggest. जो कि कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं किसी भी फील्ड में सिर्फ सीएस में नहीं किसी भी फील्ड में कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकें सो डू लेट अस नो एंड फॉलो इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल टू गेट टू नो द ऑल द ऑल द बिहाइंड द सीन्स सो विद दैट नो वी ट्रिंग इट टू एंड टेक केयर लाफेस